Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Warhammer Forty Thousand Inquisitor Martyr. My name is Wilfred. Now, if you play the season journey like I do as a new player, um, it can be a little bit nervous when some of the objective could uh, look quite scary. Uh, one of them is to complete a uh, void crusade, collecting all the info fragment uh, within seventy-five seventy-five minutes of playtime. So. Um, if you are not experienced and you are trying to uh, look for things and try to figure things out, uh, there may be chances whereby you just don't aren't able to collect all the info fragments and or in time. So um, this video is really to help you out uh, to share with you my first attempt to do it. Do you need to watch the entire forty odd minutes video to 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 see how it's done? The answer is no. Uh, you could actually refer to the Google. Um, presentation I put at the comment box below then there's a really quick way to show you what are the path to get to all these maps to get the info fragment actually so in this um, but of course in this video I like to share with you my tips as well as in like um, um, what you can do um, as a new player to equip yourself to face the Void Crusade which to me is very fun but it can be very challenging as well if you are not familiar with your class or there's a certain build that you are trying to experiment. Now um, to to put some perspective to this video is uh, I, I'm under level 70s not the max levels have 100 yet um, and the, uh, the requirement is to complete the the, the mission, the whole entire Void Crusade with all the info fragments within seven, 75 minutes. So I beat it, um, you know, I completed less than 40 minutes, beat it more than half an hour. So that is really cool. I've done 13 maps, uh, including one bonus one to get the bonus key. And uh, at the end of the Supreme mission, it was a plus eight difficulties. Uh, this time around, I handle a lot better than my previous video because I can't figure out how to how to play this game better. Um, so yeah, do stay on, if uh, especially if you are like the kind of visual kind of person, because as you read the text, you don't know what uh, what does the you know uh, the congregator uh, tater looks like or where exactly to click and so on. So this video will have all this narration or at least the uh, commentary in the video to show you what to look out for, like the voice kind of hints that you listen to and the actual info fragment, how it looks like. Uh, and also there are bits and pieces on the uh, on, on the map whereby it can give you uh, extra reward as well, like chess. So uh, it's all there. Uh, I don't come up with this guide myself. I just find it in the, in the internet, but I find it a little bit hard to follow in the internet. So I make the own, own presentation um, using the material I've got and it helped me. Uh, my first attempt to get it get this season objective done within the time limit so I, I wish you all the best and good luck with that now the um, the how the crusade uh, avoid crusade work is that in order to open up the uh, the, the the game you have to collect the void um, uh, the void shard for uh, for different kind of like a maps so uh, from the collective wisdom of the internet, the best map to use is the Viridian, the green color. Uh, that is a map that possibly give you the best chance of success to complete this objective. But looking at my timing, I think it is possible for other as well. But I haven't really got it all figured out or mapped out where to get things uh, along the way. Now, um, you have to uh, get um, five info fragments and the five info fragments are scattered around the maps on all those unknown area if you're not familiar with it the good news is that this map is static meaning that every time when you open up the map it is the same path that you're seeing uh, the info fragment is at the same place that you will be seeing and the type of mission is going to be the same as well where the bosses are the same so um, the more you do it, I presume the better you will get become. So don't don't lose um, motivation if you can't complete or can't miss uh, some of the info fragment towards the end. And then, oops, you know, um, you have to do it again. That which is fine. You just need to farm the uh, the void shard for that particular um, map itself. Uh, that that would be it. So you know, don't give up. Um, you can always uh, continue get the benefit. Uh, just for your information, what is a big deal about info? Uh, Fragment info fragment is for 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 you to identify which chest you would like to open at the end of the supreme mission. So, 
all this map, uh, there is a uh, supreme mission that you can complete. There are four possible, well, depending on the map itself, some are three, some are four possible kind of like path to different kind of scenarios. So at the end of the supreme mission, much like um, Green Dawn or Path of Exile, there will be chests for you to uh, to collect. You know, Path of Exile lab run, for example. You know, you collect key, you can unlock certain chests. Um, so the good thing about info fragment is that they will tell you which are the chests uh, for what content. So if you are looking for gear, you would like to go for the chest with a high tier of the gear drop. If you're looking for more Void Shard to play the Void Crusade, then you want to open up the uh, accordingly. Or Blueprints if you would like to do crafting. So uh, it's fun. I mean, you could... You could um, you could uh, get more information on what the chest will be and uh, with the keys that you collect um, that you would uh, also um, uh, be, op be able to open more more chests as well uh, i'm not going to go into the whole criteria of the key um, you know how many keys you how to acquire the key that could be a video another day but uh, as you progress in this map as you meet certain objective then you get extra key and the last mission the supreme um, uh, mission will always give you two keys so usually what people do for the sort of like uh, you know best kind of speed run is uh, after you collect you have collected two keys then you can go into the final supreme mission to just finish off with four keys uh, out of six keys is not bad because to get the other two keys you have to escalate the difficulties as well uh, the path that i've shown here in this video the the, the sequence to it is important i would strongly recommend you to follow the sequence uh, because it it, it, it doesn't escalate the level of difficulties unnecessarily higher than the uh, than, 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 than what you require to do so it kind of optimize towards the pathing of it to be more faster and to be more efficient um, so yeah do, do follow that if you find the video hard to follow like I said do go into the Google kind of like um, presentation that I've shared with you at the comment box below okay now um, the uh, just a quick information of how to play the Void, void Crusade is that uh, there are some um, uh, optional kind of objective as well as conjugator um, uh, that co conjugator that you have to interact with so as to open up some secret mission so there will be some secret mission um, and, and you can unlock the secret mission by doing some quest um, within the kind of map itself uh, via us touching the the conjugator, for example, and the uh, so that is important because some of them will require you to have two maps, uh, kind of like uh, objective, kind of achieved. First of all, for example, you have to find the data slate, and then after that, uh, you have the uh, 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 conjugator, um, uh, conjugator to to interact there, and then after that, you unlock another map. So that is very important. Uh, look for all the secret mission, and sometimes within the secret mission, uh, that would be uh, that would be the um, the info fragment, which is um, it's not necessarily highlighted on the map itself, but when you approach the uh, uh, the location, then the tap priest will tell you that uh, uh, there is an important info fragment at proximity. Um, so you should go and interact with it. There's a green exclamation mark on top of the con conjugator and after you interact with me there's a voice confirmation uh, that tell you you have already come you have completed that so that is important to listen to it and to ensure that for those places that you expect to see info fragment you go and get the info fragment all right so just just to recap you know uh, do all these optional kind of quests uh, in order to open up all these secret missions that you require and then after that uh, for those maps that has info fragment be sure that you click onto it and get the info fragment. Now the, the, the next tips is about on on mission timer. So 75 minutes the requirement is on mission timer. It means that it start when you land onto the map, the timer will stop counting when you achieve the mission objective, meaning that you see that there's a mission success kind of like a box there. This is important because uh, I would strongly advise you to ignore some of these optional bosses or even chests that's a little bit out of the way to just complete all the objective first. Sometimes the objective could be take down three targets. So go and take down the three targets first. And if you still have time because you spawn a seasonal boss, there are optional bosses around, the, the chest that you have missed, then you can go back to all these places to look for all these items uh, without affecting your timer because um, the, the, the stopwatch will stop after your mission is completed. Complete the mission first, 
and then look for all these other things that you you like to uh, to collect. My only um, uh, exception advice to this particular point is that I will still feel the info fragment should be your first priority because the tag priest voice um, kind of alert can will only happen once when you approach uh, the proximity of the info fragment. So drop what you do, get the info fragment and then continue what you're doing because sometimes when the map is quite big you kind of like lost track of where the info fragment is and you may miss it and if you miss it then you will not complete this season's objective all right so that is really important the priority is to get the info fragment um, that is your first priority because that is what the season objective is then you do it as fast as you can now how to do it as fast as you can as you can um i've um, uh, the, 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 the gear and build matter a lot because I've, um, I, I've used other build and sometimes it's just not as effective as uh, say ex sometimes you need the external or the target, it's just not fast enough. Um, and that affected and also difficulties escalation as well. So sometimes you get to like plus six in my last video, I was struggling. But then after that, I changed my strategy. Plus eight, it was a walk in the park as you, you will see in this video later when, when you get to plus eight difficulties at the end, supreme mission. So what have I done right? Um, what I'd like to share with you. Well, uh, what I've done right, a couple of things here. After level 50, you have access to something called Sam code. Uh, some code is like um, like a little kind of like in, in, in the Diablo world or even in Marvel Heroes world in the past, it is like rune word, right? Uh, it is something that you could combine and craft into something more powerful. So things that I find it really useful for my Crusader because I've been using the area of uh, um, uh, effect kind of, kind of work, uh, build is that uh, things like uh, on hit, I gain movement speed. Good stuff because I get hit all the time. Don't, don't kill all the trash mob, by the way, unless you are in extermination kind of like a mission. Skip everything like you see in this video, get to the objective. So when you get hit, you gain speed, fantastic. Uh, there's also other uh, sign uh, code, like for example, you get hit and then you, uh, you gain a damage bonus. Fantastic, I get hit all the time. You know, I, I become more powerful. Uh, and, and another kind of like really nice sound code is like, um, you know, on stun or on slow because I'm using a whirlwind, whirlwind build, which is more like, you know, how I spin my great sword. I slow targets around me a lot and I apply the slow around it. Um, so I would, uh, I will buff my, my crusader tremendously if I, if I can have uh, additional damage uh, for those who are slow. Your build could be different, could be on poison on burn or whatever it is but uh, you can use all these sound code and some of the sound code are pretty nice like overall damage reduction as well um, so why not some of these can use and uh, there's some um, you can put socket onto your gear it, at first i was wondering is it worth it to put socket on my uh, on my on my build that's still leveling right but i i realizing that uh, sometimes you just want to get things done faster and uh, the leveling after level 60 is going to be a little bit slower so whatever the gear that you receive uh, you can actually uh, use it for a longer period of time so um, do invest in your gear um, level up the tech tree because that you'll be able to um, be able to fuse the sockets onto your gear um, I don't go for maximum. I, I do about three or three. I think on my on my on my weapon and another three on my chest. But you can do up to the maximum if you want to. It's based on the material that you've got. So my advice: fuse your uh, fuse sockets, plural, onto the uh, weapon and 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 body item. Uh, fuse socket onto any other items. Not all the items are are, are, are socketable. But a few sockets onto any other items that you would like to put it into it. Uh, have uh, if you don't have any some code, uh, craft some. Uh, you can usually use a low tier one to craft into higher tier one. Not saying that low tier is not not good, but um, but some of the low tier are good as well. But you, if you want to get the one that you want, you can craft it, uh, and then after that you could um, uh, you could you could make your 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 character a lot more powerful. Uh, another thing that I would like to share with you is that morality trait is important. It means that the decision that you make uh, in a game, in a story mode, uh, be it as more Puritan, meaning that living as the um, as a crusader, 
uh, being a Puritan or being a radical, right? So in in Mass Effect, it has this kind of like a trade off on the on, on the trade as well, and uh, it depends on what you want to do. Uh, decision point in the in in the storyline, like for example, do you want to spare that person or do you want to execute that person because uh, he has done some heresy in the past, although it was for a good cause. Those decisions sometimes, if you wear the hat of um, of uh, of uh, RPG player, sometimes you want to make different decisions. Like sometimes I think I would like to spare that person's life because I think that it was really for a good cause. But sometimes I would say no. I think we should stick by the discipline. Uh, heresy is bad, and just execute the person. But my advice to you in this game is that choose one of the path and stick by it because uh, you want to have maximum kind of like uh, trade so that you can unlock the passive um, I found that uh, I, I've unlocked the Periton uh, trade and it helped me tremendously because I have like uh, much better damage against demons against the uh, dark elder and also if I take the uh, warp damage I've uh, you know I, I'll gain kind of like a damage myself and also a damage increase and also I will have resistance to as the warp damage so it's a lot of good stuff there as a Puritan, Puritan and I'm sure likewise of a radical but you know um, try to play the story in such a way that you are consistent in your direction so that you, you, you unlock those passive ASAP um, so that would be my advice to build your character uh, find a weapon that works for you. That's, I, I believe there's no one size fit all. Everybody will have their own view. And I'm sure my view could be not be correct when it comes to the end game. It doesn't matter. What it matters is like what works for you. Uh, I've tried the Thunder Hammer build, which is one of the you know builds that many people would like it. Maybe for end game, I'll change my mind. But right now, as you see in this video, the Great Sword works tremendously well for me. I just spin and win. I don't even I seldom need to do anything. Not even need to call my uh, turret or do other kind of ability, which is great when you come to kind of like. Um, completion of a season journey like this one and 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 it's it's great because i love the mobility of it however if you don't like the great sword you will do something else be my guest and i'm sure some like the guns as well some like certain kind of like a weapon and it's all your preference but the most importantly is one thing here you should be able to move fast you should be able to skip mobs fast enough as well to take down the target so long as you can survive all these kind of like things that bombard onto you have enough kind of like um uh, mitigation i think i think you have a winning formula um at least at this level um from 60 50 then above uh, i'm not sure about end game end game may be different so i spec a lot onto my um kind of like a defensive uh, kind of um um, um stats on it the from a passive wise i make sure that i've uh, i have a really well balance between the defensive and offensive because um there's no point in having a lot of dps without the defensive stats back up by it and the last well i'm not sure whether it's last or not because i just keep talking but one of the last uh, advice i have for you is that do modify your gear you can roll different affixes onto the gear except those that is like um you know legendary kind of affixes that cannot be uh changed um go for things like uh gain health when you hit uh, a target you know gain health when you kill a target gain suppression those kind of stats are really good this kind of vampire kind of like uh, stats i find that in this game is very helpful because uh, some of them is even like crit uh, when you crit you gain um, damage uh, when you sort of like crit you gain uh, health point as well those i find that is very good for you to sustain the kind of like um, you know fast uh, speed run while you take damage but still gain a lot of like um, health or or even like um um, health and uh, suppression on that and the other thing is that um, you, you as you as you gain higher level you see something like the second token or focus token or other uh, focus state or, or um, the enraged token so I found that um, initially you don't really kind of make sense out of it because you don't really have gear that have like uh, you know what's enraged right so the um, you know some of this the token gear that you get later on just store it um, somehow uh, some of the gear that you get later on will reward you with the uh, 
uh, Berserker token or the Enrage token, uh, so long as certain kind of criteria is being met, like for example, you take a big hit or you know, uh, whatsoever, then you gain those uh, token. And once you have those token, then there are other gears in your in your Astrino that um, Asino that is able to leverage on those token and deal more damage or do do more uh, kind of mitigation. So uh, do watch out for those because I found that um, my character really get lift up out. Lift, lift up after I've uh, got all this token in place. So yeah, I mean, I hope all these tips are very useful to you. I have a blast playing this game. It's been one of the most fun game I've got uh, so far. Um, you know, and I just, I just can't stop playing. There's so much thing, uh, so much depth to it, uh, so much thing to to learn from it. So um. Do drop me a note below if you have more questions or if you encounter difficulties or something in this like uh, you know uh, a pack or in this uh, presentation that is not um, obvious to you and you still can't figure out certain, figure out certain things. Uh, do drop me a note below and um, uh, uh, sorry, a uh, um, comment below and I I would I would definitely get back to you and help you out there. And if you have any advice for myself and uh, for for the community, do drop a comment below as well. You know, sharing is caring. All right. So uh, the emperor protects and all the best uh, with your seasonal journey. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Operating the protective force field have been taken out. You must find another way, Inquisitor. of high importance in close proximity. Blessed scanning sounds have been executed and indicate essential info fragments, Inquisitor. Data has been inloaded.
match. The Xenox artifact is now in inquisitorial custody. Praise the Omnisar. mind is reeling from the demonic cacophony that emanates from the contaminated area. Real space is coming apart at the seams. It is the work of the Plague Lord, no doubt. Contamination neutralized. Protocol, a rudimentary but effective solution. we lowered the chance of a major outbreak and we collected valuable data. Only corruption lies beyond the veil. There is nothing but suffering and death beneath the stars.
electrospectral scanning revealed info fragments of high importance in close proximity. Blessed scanning psalms have been executed and indicate essential info fragments, Inquisitor. Data has been inlaid. Astartes, but you can certainly fight, Inquisitor. Once again, the enemies of the Imperium failed miserably. and corruption is spun by powerful beings and perverted minds. Hunt their leaders, and this construct of evil will come crashing down. of high importance in close proximity. Blessed scanning psalms have been executed and indicate essential info fragments, Inquisitor. Data has been inloaded.
until it withers and dies. Sensory stimuli link has been established. Subject in severe distress identified. Hostiles are attempting forced entry to the vault where subject is located. Vault integrity compromised. Termination is imminent without inquisitorial assistance. The subject is insufficiently augmented to survive a violent interaction. I advise haste. Subject is now in inquisitorial custody. Relocate to the extraction zone. Successful. Blessed be the Deus Mechanicus. The asset is secure and being prepared for inquisitorial debriefing. End of log. and corruption is spun by powerful beings and perverted minds. Hunt their leaders, and this construct of evil will come crashing down.
worse. He deserved worse. Much worse. You severed the head. Now you can watch the body wander aimlessly until it withers and dies. There must be a teleport beacon nearby. Thank you.